hello everyone welcome to my channel so here in this video we are going to discuss about the oxidation states of 3d transition series we know that d block elements contains four series 3d 4d 5d and 6d so now we are going to discuss about the first series 3d transition series so the general electronic configuration of 3d series organ 3d 1 to 10 4s 2 so we can know the oxidation states of a particular transition series by their electronic configurations so now we have to know what are the elements in a 3d series Scandium, Titanium, Vanadium, Chromium, Manganese, Iron, Cobalt, Nickel, Copper and Zinc. Now we can write the electronic configurations of these elements that makes easier to understand. Scandium 3D1 4S2 Titanium 3D2 4S2 Vanadium 3D3 4S2 and Chromium 3D5 4s1 we know that the d orbital when it is half filled or completely filled it becomes more stable so one electron from the s orbital jumps to d orbital in its excited state and becomes 3d5 4s1 manganese 3d5 4s2 iron 3d6 4s2 cobalt 3d7 4s2 nickel 3d8 4s2 copper 3d10 4s1 so here also same one electron from the s orbital jumps to 3d9 and becomes 10 completely filled and becomes stable and zinc 3d10 4s2 now, based on these electronic configurations, we can know the oxidation states of these elements. When, when we observe the scandium electronic configuration, the fourth shell s orbital contains two electrons. When it is supposed to lost these two electrons, it acquires an oxidation state of plus two. E s orbital low na two electrons ni scandium coal pain apuru it gets an oxidation state of plus two and along with these two or electrons when it is supposed to lost the one electron in the d orbital it acquires an oxidation state of plus three like this all these elements are gets their oxidation states and plus 2 and plus 3 is common in all the elements except zinc so next coming to the titanium 3d2 4s2 when it lost two electrons in the s orbital it acquires an oxidation state of plus 2 and when coming to the d orbital it acquires oxidation state of plus 3 and plus 4 and vanadium it can give oxidation states of plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 and plus 5 and chromium here in chromium the s orbital contains only one electron and when it is supposed to lose the one electron it acquires an oxidation state of plus 1 
प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव एंड प्लस सिक्स मैंगनीस हियर द मैंगनीस कंटेन्स थ्री डी फाइव एंड फोर एस टू सो इट कैन गिव एन ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ प्लस टू प्लस थ्री प्लस फोर प्लस फाइव प्लस सिक्स एंड प्लस सेवन सो हियर वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड इन दिस केस मैंगनीस इज द वन विच हैज हायर ऑक्सीडेशन स्टेट ऑफ प्लस सेवन सो नेक्स्ट आयरन it has an electronic configuration of 3d6 and 4s2 it can acquire an oxidation state of +2 plus +3 plus +4 plus +5 plus and +6 plus cobalt +2 plus +3 plus +4 plus and +5 plus here we can understand the oxidation states from manganese to zinc is going on decreasing order from scandium to manganese the oxidation states has an increasing order and from manganese to zinc it having a decreasing order nickel it has an oxidation states of plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 copper it has oxidation states plus 1 because in s orbital it has only one electron and it can exhibit plus 2 plus 3 and coming to the last zinc it has an electronic configuration of 3d10 and 4s2 it can exhibit only the oxidation state of plus 2 and the d orbital remains stable so here we can observe that from manganese to zinc it went on decreasing order here the higher oxidation state becomes progressively less stable because the divalent becomes dominant here divalent means nothing but an element or ion which gets a valency of 2 so here the divalent is zinc so th these are the oxidation states of 3d transition series thank you for more videos keep watching my channel and please raise your doubts and opinions in our comment section thank you thanks for watching